Good afternoon, year three and year four. Um, this is your Wednesday topic lesson and your learning intention is to investigate Egyptian clothing. So it's all about what the Egyptians wore. Um, and I put um, a little bit of help on the home learning packs. So if you've got that open with you or you've had a look already, that's really good. So first of all, who wore what? So you may have some knowledge and understanding of this already from books you've read or um, videos you've seen in the past. So that's really good. If not, then we're going to learn all about it now. So there were noble women and they wore dresses. Um, and these were made out of the best cloth with beads sewn onto them. Okay, so quite similar to what we wear now, but we don't just wear dresses anymore, whereas they only wore dresses with beads on them. Um, men either wore a tunic or a kilt-like skirt. So a tunic is a, something that goes over them. Um, it's usually with just a sheet. Uh, they wouldn't have made um, shorts or anything. It's more like a skirt. Um, and then this was made out of linen um, and they wrap it around the waist and tie it in a knot. Um, and their tunics or their skirt-like um, bottoms can sometimes be decorated with pleats and folds so you can see different types of um, tunics that the men wore. Um, and then it talks about some other um, types of Egyptians, but they're like the main two, the dresses for the women and the tunics for the men. For their footwear, what do you think they would wear on their feet? Do you think they would have some Nike trainers? Or would they have something different? What do you think? Um, so if you said that, no, they didn't wear trainers, you were right. They wore sandals, okay? So these are the easiest footwear to kind of make yourselves if you had to. Um, and they used grass and other reeds to make their sandals. Um, and they could make colourful pictures of sandals um, on the mummies that uh, they, in the afterlife, they thought they would put colourful sandals on their mummies. Um, so, yeah. And then jewellery. Do we know if the Egyptians wore jewellery or not? What type of jewellery do you think they wore? Have you seen any pictures of Egyptians wearing jewellery? What were they wearing? So if you said yes, they did wear jewellery, you would be right. So in our English, we said that when they got buried, they liked to have jewellery as well. Um, so the women and men both wore necklaces, bracelets and earrings. So that's a little bit different to now because typically jewellery is worn, worn more by women. So women wear necklaces and rings quite a lot um, and bracelets but um, and earrings. And men don't as much. Men still can wear those pieces of jewellery, but we, we don't see it as common in our society. But in the ancient Egyptians' time, men wore it just as much as women. So both men and women wore jewellery all the time. Um, and a lot of it was made from gold, if you were wealthy enough to have gold jewellery. Um, less wealthy people, their jewellery was made from copper and beads. So they still wanted to wear jewellery, but they couldn't have gold and jewellery. Uh, so they had to find an alternative. Um, and then lastly, their hair. So girls usually wore their hair in pigtails. So I've got my hair in pigtail, but half up. They would have it um, in pigtails. So possibly two beside their heads um, to keep it tidy, I guess. Um, and boys mostly had shaven heads. Um, sometimes they would have one plaited uh, lock on one of the sides of their head if they wanted to but mainly they would have shaved heads um so your task today is to design and annotate a picture of a male and a female in egyptian clothing so i want to see the comparison a male and a woman um Underneath your drawing, can you discuss what are the similarities and what are the differences between the men and women? So I've started to talk about what was similar and what was different between them. Um, and you could have a read of all the information that's on there. I've kind of just spoken about the main things um, and design your two people. So male and female. What did they look like? What did they wear? 
What did they wear on their feet? What jewellery did they wear? What did their hair look like? Um, and you could also add labels in um, to make it really clear to me, but definitely underneath discuss what's similar and what's different, okay? So you could have a paragraph on their similarities and a paragraph on their differences. If you've done all of that, um, an, ext an extension is that, can you create something similar to what the Egyptians wore with items in your home? Remember to take pictures and send them to your t teachers. So if you think you can make something that the Egyptians wore, um, a tunic or a dress, something like that, then make it and take a photo of yourself and send it to your teachers and you may end up on the website. Okay, so I look forward to seeing your work. If you have any questions, remember to um, email your teachers. Have a great day. Hello, year three and year four. I have transformed myself into Egyptian lady. So I've got my um, sheet on from my bedding to make a dress. I've also found some gold jewelry to add in my ears. I've got some eyeliner on as the Egyptians would have worn and I've got some red lipstick on as well. I would like to see if you can beat this outfit and see if you can come up with something better. But this is my attempt and I can't wait to see yours. Have fun.